Hello Virgo, thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. For supportive oracle cards, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco and the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle by Danielle. Um, here, I'll just show you the bag. <laughs> you can hopefully that focuses because it doesn't look like it is to me. Um, if you go online though, on Amazon especially, you'll easily find those decks if you would like them. Okay, so I got the cards all bushed together. All three decks are together here. Uh, mostly because the Bonefire Tarot, for some reason, is hard for me to shuffle. I don't know why. So I'm just going to do this and pull out some cards and we'll see what we have for Virgo. Okay, so we got, let's do these two. Uh, this one and that one and this one. These, I think I want to do two actually. Yes. And I think I want that. I think that's it. Alright, let's see what we have. I don't know if there's a lot there, but we'll find out in a second. What do we have for Virgo? Push that to the side. Alright, Virgo! Okay, Virgo. I like all your cards. <laughs> Let's go that way. I like all your cards um, on your side, which you start off with gratitude. Very powerful way to start a situation. Um, so what, what it's telling me is that even if a situation isn't going perfectly, you're happy for what is going the right way. And you're emphasizing that, and you're promoting that. I feel like the more gratitude you have for what's going right, the better you have, of, the better a chance you have of putting things right. Because you're like, all right, this recipe is, it's kind of like saying this recipe is a little bit off, but I did like the addition of, for example, the cream cheese. I did like how that worked out. You know, using this other substitute, I don't know if that worked out so well, but, you know, this, this, uh, this type of flour, I like that. That worked out for me. And you're kind of like, yeah, I think this is going the right way. It's not perfect, but I can work with it. I can keep working with these elements. I can make this go better. You know, I have a strong base to start with. You have fragment reversed in the environment, which literally in this situation for you, the way this card is feeling for me, the situation is a little bit fragmented, but you're you're putting it together like you're you're kind of like, all right, this is a little bit like it's not that bad, but it's a little bit off here. Let me kind of pull this in. Let's push that down. Let's smooth that out. Like you're working on it. Fragmented reverse tells me not only are you working on it, but you're putting it back together and you're making it go better than it was. It's almost like saying, all right, that piece is, that's worn out. So let's get rid of that. Let's put something else in here and kind of form that in there the way it needs to go. There we go. We got that going. You're working at it and you're succeeding. But your gratitude, like you know this is going to work out. And you're, for what you have left, it's kind of like, all right, 30% of this isn't right, but 70% of it is. And I can actually correct this. I can do this. You're figuring it out. You're doing very well. Um, your effort very strongly is correcting a situation. Very strongly is correcting this. You're not giving up. Um, and I like that with Earth signs. And Virgo seems to be quite good with that, especially because they seem to move with the situation. They don't like to be pushed around, don't get me wrong. And they don't like quick change either, usually, stereotypically, of course. But, you know, Virgo seems to be like, all right, all right, all right. We got to kind of move around. Yeah, 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 all right. So let me see if I can do this. All right, all right, let's go. Yeah, okay. You know, you'll think it out. You'll mold with it. You'll, you'll, you'll bend within reason. I'm not saying you're going to like it, but you're more aptable, you're more available to the situation, if you will. And that's really making a huge difference. You're pulling somebody else out of the fire is what I'm really getting. It says Nine of Wands, true. And if you notice these acorn, acorns, there's a lot of fire in this deck anyway. But what I'm getting with this is you're literally pulling somebody out of the fire by looking at the situation going, yeah, yeah, I know, it's not the best, but this is what we can do. And you're getting somebody else to work with you because you're making things make sense. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. This part isn't right. I know that. But this is. And I feel like not only do you have gratitude for what's going right, you're telling somebody else, you're teaching somebody else, hey, 
this is not a washout. This isn't like this isn't just pick it all up and throw it all away. No, 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 no. We got to fix some things. And yes, some things aren't right, but come on, let's work with me. We're going to make this work out. You're causing focus to happen. Focus is on your side. It's focus in the sense of like you know what you need to do and you're doing it, but you're also helping this other person. I feel like you're pulling somebody forward with you. You're like, listen, focus with me. Stay with me. This isn't a complete washout. We can do this. We can pull this together. You're pulling other people forward with you, which is important here. It's very important. I feel like you're becoming stronger and stronger as this keeps going forward because you're helping somebody. Maybe more than one somebody, but you're pulling somebody out of the fire is what it looks like. Now, they've got a couple face-down cards here. Um, the hunger comes in upside down. I like that. These are both face-down. This one, hunger and protection. Hunger is upside down. I feel like you're helping somebody like... Like, they're, they're, it's pulling them out of the hunger. It's pulling them out of the mystery of it. It's pulling them out of the, you know, wishing it would go better. You know what I mean? You're pulling them out of that. Instead of them wishing it would go better... You're saying, no, 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 let's not wish it would go better. Let's make it better. And you're like, you're pulling somebody forward. I, I don't know how else to pull that, to put this because it's like you're literally like, it's almost like you're, you're going up to somebody who's sitting on the ground and they're just kind of like pouting it out. Like, oh, I don't know what to do. And you're like, well, here's what you do. You get your ass up and you, you're like literally picking them up. That's what you do. You get up <laughs> and you're like, get up and we're going to, we're going to do something about this. And the protection is like, I feel like they're getting this from you too. You're helping them like not only get up and start fixing it, but they're feeling like with you there with them, that this can get better and this is getting better and they can do this. You're really strong with this is what I'm getting. You're really making this person feel better. For some of you, I feel like it's to your chagrin. It's like you don't really want to pick them up, but you're like, I need to do this because this isn't right. This needs to go better for everybody. <clears throat> some of you, I don't know. Comments below, of course, let me know. But I feel like some of you are kind of like, I don't really want to pick this person up. I need to. You need to get up. Communication is getting a lot better between you and this person because I feel like you're kind of reminding them a lot. Uh, and you're keeping them on point and you're keeping them talking with you because you're like, we can't have this sliding back now. We can't have this slipping backwards. So you're keeping them communicating with you and you're, just to make sure they're on point and to make sure they stay on point. And if they're like seeming to go up the hill and getting better and then they're kind of veering, you're like, oh, get back in line. Get over here. Get over here. And you're like, yay. And you're keeping that communication going. This is where, I, again, why I see you getting stronger. I see the King of Swords is where this seems to be ending up or going. I don't feel like you're going to be constantly tending after this situation, like physically in it. But I also, but I do also feel like you're going to be constantly connected with it and like keeping this person talking and like realizing what's going on. You're going to keep your mind on it in the sense of like you're you're going to like keep an eye on it. That's probably what I'm supposed to be saying here. You're keeping an eye on it and you're keeping in communication with this person. Like, what are you doing? Is it still going well? You're still going up that hill? Are you staying on the path I told you to stay on? Are you staying in line? Like it's almost like you know some sometimes when people talk and then they clap their hands like, are you staying on point? And they do that clap thing, kind of like like listen to me. Do you hear me? That might be happening here. I don't know why I want to do that clap thing. It makes me laugh because it's it's a bit over dramatic. I know that, but it's kind of like listen to me. Are you listening to me? Are you still on point? And you're keeping the person person on point. You're like listen. Remember when you veered off the path before and you went plunk. Do you want to put plunk again? I don't think you do. Stay on path. Stay where I told you to stay. Keep going up that hill. You're going to keep doing that. And I feel like this situation, it's necessary. You're keeping it online. I feel like you're more comfortable with everything, not actually getting in there and actually doing it, but making sure the other person or other people are just staying in line and staying with what they're supposed to do. You got your eye on it. You're keeping an eye on it. You're keeping people in communication. The King of Swords is about communication and thought. I do feel like this is on an upswing, but I feel like for the people this is really coming for, coming to, whatever, um, it's saying as long as you keep your eye on the situation, as long as you keep communication open, the situation does improve and stays good, stays on the up and up. For now, for the foreseeable future, it feels like that is necessary for this to keep in a positive upswing. If you decide, you know what, I'm done with it, 
I don't feel like I should need to tend to this. I don't feel like this should be my ball of wax, whatever. If you decide I just don't think this is something I should have to keep after, if you step away, it will probably go back to this feeling again. So that's the message they're giving with that. A lot of energy with that, though. And I feel like you're having a very good impact, though. I feel like that's really good. So I'm going to let that go there. All right, so that's Virgo. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.